what is it that you can do to become an employer that attracts talent? Because you will be competing with talent that is scarce. You will want the best talent with the best customer service uh, experience and or aptitude. And so will many other employers. So how you build an employer brand and how you engage your employees to stay so you reduce the turnover in an environment for the next couple of years where they will have plenty of choices. Individuals with the right skills and good experience that don't see a path of progression, they will leave and they will have plenty of other opportunities. It's a situation we've not had over the last, over the last three years, uh, but we're now starting to see that it's changing. And you'll start to see people with the right skills being able to get employed very, very quickly. So those are the three areas that I think that you as organizations and businesses can really think about so that you plot a workforce strategy that is in sync with your business strategy and that you build an employer brand that really engages the talent so that they come to you and they want to stay. And for each and every organization, it's a different value proposition. For some, it will be, I'm a great place to come to as a first job because you acquire customer service skills that you can apply across any industry. And it's extremely valuable. For others, it'll be a case of, I can provide you with a career if you have the right kind and you can you know, move up and become a general manager and run your own store, just as we do with our branches, where we want to have internal succession because they learn the business and then they stay and they become much more profitable and much more productive uh, employees over the course of time. So having a clear idea about what your value proposition is in an environment and a market, labor market that is going to become increasingly uh, competitive is going to be very important.